What's going on everyone? It is your boy Kieran the Barber. Today, I've got a special treat for you. I'm going to do, it is rightfully Tuesday. So today is Transformation Tuesday. I've got an awesome transformation to show you. We go from Stefan being maybe a three to Stefan being at least a seven and a half of his good looks and charms. So guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, I don't really get a lot of afro hair in, but I love it when I get to do it. So um, let me know what I could do better. Please give me a hand. Um, and hopefully you guys learn something as well. Remember, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Right guys, welcome to my hair tutorial on how to make someone go from a 3 to at least a 7. <laughs> Transformation Tuesday people, welcome. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Andis US Pro Allies and stick on a number 3. Now, see that thing on the top of Stefan's head? Bye bye, see you later. He's going to hate this bit because he, um, he really likes the top of his hair. So, <laughs> let me just position that camera right first, obviously. Oh, baby. This is satisfying for anybody to watch. Just love clearing that. The, f the first thing I said to Stefan was, like, do you know how better that looks already? <laughs> you just leave it like that. Go on. Done, bruv. 20 bucks, please. So now using my Slimline Pro Allies, we're gonna start putting in some shape. So again, just very, very softly. You can see I am not putting no pressure on that whatsoever. There's no point, because you're either leave it too, too sharp and the line will be too hard to get out, or I'll leave the client with a really red mark. The thing to do is nice and light, and then you can clear the access hair from underneath. I just, I can't believe how good these clippers are. Regardless of what hair it is, whether it be Asian, Afro, Caucasian, any type of hair, you can you can just clear it straight away with these clippers. Absolutely amazing clipper. Clipper? I've said clipper this whole time. I mean trimmer. It is a trimmer. That's how good it is that I think it's a clipper. It is a trimmer. Cordless trimmer at that as well. I don't even think 90% of corded trimmers can even do that. So, and this really puts something on the market to, to compete with. So now it's time to bring out the Andis Ball Shavers Allies. They are amazing. They're my babies. They're actually obviously mine. Everything I use in my videos is off my shelf, straight off my shelf. As you can see, they just say Undis because that's how much I use them. Um, and that is the first head I've used on them as well. I haven't changed the heads on them. And look at that. It is just clearing the hair. Amazing tool, amazing tool. Now using my number one on my US Pro Cordless Li. What I'm going to be doing is getting that focus first, obviously, and then just using my C motion. Really, really simple. So, just coming off about an inch, <coughs> using that C motion just to start my blend. Start getting that right. Start getting that shape from the offset. I say I'm flicking, I'm using the C motion, so it makes it a lot easier for me to use. Now on the one and a half, this is where the afro gets tricky. Because it's curly, you want to take them curls off. So with my one and a half, I'm going to come down the way the hair goes. So whichever way the hair grows, I'm going to come down on that, take that weight out, take them curls out, because I want them to be nice and flat for me. 
There you go, there's a little trick of the trade for you guys at home who are new to Afro hair. So now I'm going to go between a mixture of guards, I'm going to go between my two, my one and a half, my one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start blending that in nice and slowly. Take my time, using my two to come to follow the hair growth pattern. Just to make that nice and smooth. So I'll let you carry on, I'll let you watch and enjoy it. So this is where people probably struggle the most is that line, that horrible, horrible line. Um, and it's been probably going around in the barber world for the last hundred years. Is Some people like putting the line in first, some people absolutely hate putting the line in first. Me personally, not in a big headed way, but I can do both. So sometimes depending on what hair it is, I do do both. So on Stefan's hair, because I know I, I've been cutting Stefan's hair since we were kids. He was probably literally one of my first customers when I was about 13, 14 cutting hair. He let me practice, which is awesome. So I know I know that I can put in the line in Steph's hair and I can feel comfortable doing it. So what I'll do is, as you can see, I'm flicking through between the half and the zero now. I'm just making sure I get that line out, slowly but surely. So I got taught by a really good friend that using um, shears and fillers on afro hair work really well. Um, Kenny Duncan and MK, two people who specialise in afro hair, told me that using scissors on um, afro hair works really, really, really well. So don't ever be scared to come out your comfort zone. Try something new. Honestly, it works. Give it a try. Now for that stubborn line, I'm going to use my 5-0 head and I can't actually get that green line to focus but it is on level 3 of my Super ZR so level 3 right in the middle and the reason I use it on level 3 is because then it doesn't heat up. So I'm just using that corner just to get that line out. I love my ZRs. They're amazing. But always, if you're going to use them, I would definitely recommend using them on the free setting um, instead of the five. Five just gets hot very, very fast. So just keep them on the free and you'll be absolutely fine. Um. <laughs> Onto the beard. Running a just a one into the beard. Just all around that beard. Um, give it one level and then we're going to shape it up.
Now, always with the front of Afro hair, make sure you brush that front down. Always, always brush that front down. Because you don't want no loose hairs. So even when I finish doing it, I will rebrush it just to make sure it's nice and straight and get the best line I can possibly get. So I'm just applying some Elegance Gel. I don't know who uses Elegance Gel, but I know I definitely use it. I'll put it in the link in the description below. I'll also put you onto their Instagram as well. They're absolutely amazing. Um, you see some of them videos what you use with the Chavette. A lot of them are used Elegance Gel just because it is such a, such a good gel. And then I'm gonna be using my Cutthroat, um, my Bluebeard Chavette. What is that? I'll, um, I'll answer Steph's question for you all. So, this is Topic. I don't know how many people have heard of Topic. I know a lot of barbers have heard of Topic. But what that does is, it is hair fibres. So, if you're going out on a night out, or you want something to look really flush, you just spray them hair fibres in, making it nice and straight. Okay, you can either use Beegun or you can use um, Topic. I really, really like Topic. I think it's one of the um, one of the better products. So let me straighten up that camera. And the best thing about Topic is you'll see in a minute where I go slightly down on one side. Um, not necessarily on purpose, but and then I sh I straighten that all up after. So as you can see, I'm leaning down to one side, but. I'm just filling in that gap um, and the fibers clings onto the hair there so as you can see it looks wonky which is never ever great you don't leave someone with a wonky hairline nobody wants that in their life but I'm just making sure that's that is filled there nicely and then I'll go over with either my slimline pro allies or I will um, go over it with my shabbat The spin guys, check that out. What a difference! It's madness. So, this is what I had to work with at the start. When someone walks in like that, 
what do you do? Well, you do them on a Tuesday, so it's Transformation Tuesday, and then you make them go to that. Now, that is a complete different haircut. The products used, all El Naturel. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Give me a sub, give me a follow, give me a like. Let's smash that like button.